So we're back with our third and final installment of our smelting series. And today we're going to be smelting down the anode slimes that we did from our previous video. And I'll post links to the first and second installment here in the introduction so you guys can link to those if you haven't seen them already. So let's go take a look at the stuff that's now dried out and we'll show you how to mix up some flux and get that smelted down and hopefully get a little gold button at the bottom. Here are the anode slimes that have now dried out. You can see it's just a bunch of black powder. So I'm going to break that up, peel it off of the paper towel here. And you want to make sure that you save all your paper towels. And later I'm going to burn those down and get the ash to smelt those as well. You don't want to put the paper towels in your crucible to uh, when you smelt because they're, they're carbon. It's a bunch of carbon, and carbon is a reducing agent. And what we want to do with all this stuff is oxidize it. So you drive off, you oxidize all the base metals and everything else but the precious metals. And by adding the paper towel into the smelt, it will counteract that because uh, carbon and oxygen really like to hang together and make CO2 and it will suck up all the oxygen from our oxidizer. So I'm going to uh, just peel off the, the black anode slimes and we'll save the filter paper for later. So weighing our anode slimes, we have 309 grams of dried anode slimes. Here's the flux we're going to be using. I'm going to use about three times the amount of flux as anode slimes, so we should have a little more than 900 grams of flux. And you can see the oxidizer here is potassium nitrate. And I'm going to add a little bit more potassium nitrate because I really want to make sure that everything gets oxidized. I know there's a little bit of copper powder that came off the anodes and cathodes. So this is a number 10 crucible and it comes right up to about a quarter of the way to the top so that's just about the perfect amount. We'll go out put it in our electric kiln, let it heat up, get all molten, and then we'll pour it into our conical mold. So there's the top of our pour. You can see how nice and fluid it is. It's still the hot currents of slag are coming up and forming that texture on top. But the viscosity is really, really low, which is what we want so the metals can settle down through that molten slag and collect in a button. Okay, we just finished our pour of the anode slime smelt. Here's all the nice black slag. And here's our little button of precious metals. Okay, here's our little button we got. Put it on the scale. 22 grams. And I'm going to polish the side of this thing and take it down to my buddy with the XRF gun and see if he can zap it for me and tell me what's in it. So when I get that, I'll post a picture. Well, I just got the results back from that XRF gun, and I'm pretty disappointed. I thought there'd be more gold in there. Um, turns out that it's only about 10% gold, roughly, and um, out of 22 grams, that's only about 2 grams or so. Um, so we have a little less than a tenth of an ounce. I was surprised that there was as much copper as there was in there, and you saw from the results of the XRF there was some uh, tin and antimony and a little bit of bismuth and lead. Um, so that shows you what uh, doesn't plate out with the copper or stay in solution um, when we um, electro-refine the copper. The, the lead, the tin, the antimony, the bismuth all comes down in the anode slimes. And uh, I guess next time I'll use a little bit more oxidizer to get rid of the rest of this copper. I think the big take home here is that the, the process works. I mean, we recovered the gold and um, we refined the copper out and got all the, the stuff smelted down out of the anode slimes and, and recovered the gold. We just didn't have very much gold. So, so anyway, thanks for watching the series. And again, sorry, that was, uh, I, I was hoping to get about a half an ounce or more out of that stuff and it just didn't turn out. So, um, but keep watching. I'll post new smelting and refining videos from time to time and hopefully uh, we can get some more gold and um, I can show you how, it, how it's really supposed to work when I get some gold. 
So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on future videos.